right friends welcome back to learning space this is the most important and interesting series of english made simple this is the fifth module first 10 minutes we are learning 10 words with various examples last 5 minutes i am trying to make you understand various english statements with crystal clear clarity let us move on to the word holistic holistic means you have to see the things in totality you should not look in parts and i gave you two examples first example is doctors should take holistic approach about any disease somebody is suffering from some disease for the past one or two months then complete investigations are required they have to look at the issue in totality that means treating the whole of something and not just in parts you see problems pertaining to ecology and environment they require holistic solutions because you see ecology and environment is spoiled from different perspectives somebody may release polluted air into the environment polluted water plastic pollution so that means if you tackle them in parts you don't get the desired outcomes so therefore holistic solution means you have to see the issue in totality look at the next one this is quite often you find in the newspapers transformational transactional that is with regard to the relationships between two countries first let me explain transactional transactional means relating to buying and selling so i am having relation with your country then what in return i am getting and which goods you are purchasing which investments you are offering if you see from that perspective it is transactional so the literal meaning of transactional is that is from the perspective of just buying and selling what is transformational transformational is quite a big word that means it looks at big change or improvement you see in the international relations india's international relations are considered transformational in nature whereas china's transactional because you see because of the investments through the belt and road initiative several countries were thrown into debt traps because of that reason critics point out china's international relations with various countries are transactional in nature india's relations are transformational that means india tries to get some change people to people contacts cultural connect it is which a view to have some transformation in that country look at microsoft example here the appointment of sachya nadella was considered a transformational step in the company's history prior to the appointment of sachya nadella that company was struggling and after the appointment of sachya nadella there is a huge change that's why you can say transformational step which resulted in big change coherently coherently means if there is any problem say for example diarrhea is there in one particular city you have to look at it from a multi dimensional perspective you have to consider carefully various aspects whether any polluted water is supplied whether sanitary pipelines are proper or not whether any festival has taken place whether any fair has taken place whether there is mix up of sewage water and water supply so clearly in a careful way you have to look at all these possibilities so therefore look at this particular example the recent deaths of diarrhea in the city are because of multi dimensional factors and the city administration could not solve the issue in a coherent way that means they have not looked at from the perspective of care and as well as clear cut reasons 
by looking at various aspects it was not done so therefore it was done in a piecemeal way so this diorrhea deaths may recur in that perspective this example is given coherent and look at another example in times of distress you see other example of coherent is clearly and in a way which can be easily understandable you see if some people are speaking you love to listen them if some people are speaking the matter may be the same but you don't love to listen to them what is the difference the difference is crystal clear understanding of various words that means they make the words in such a sequence that the flow of information will be smooth or you can say coherent means clearly in a way easy to understand your words are incorporated in such a way and precisely because of that reason some lectures by various faculty are easy to understand some lectures are quite complex that is because of the coherent speaking so in times of distress it becomes difficult to speak coherently suppose after this accident some survivor if he is ringing up his father he may not speak in a coherent way because he was under stress ratha prepares for various competitive examinations in a coherent way that means what is the specific time table which subject is to be read like that in a coherent way she prepares so coherent the meaning is carefully clearly if things are orderly arranged that is coherent friends concurrently consecutively simultaneously these three words i am going to discuss in the upcoming lectures endowment friends this word came to prominence because recently rupees 315 crore donation was given to iit bombay by its previous student nandan nilekani he gave 315 crore rupees endowment so endowment means the gift of money that is given to a university or hospital and this money is expected to generate income over a period of time you see stanford harvard they have billions of dollars of endowments so that's why they got pre eminence in the world they are in the top most rankings because of the simple reason they have billions of dollars of endowments so this is one meaning of endowment huge money given to hospital or some educational institution so that the income generated is used over a long period of time and another meaning is qualities that are inherited from the parents from birth here also you can use endowment baby is a genetic endowment that can be established by conducting various tests another meaning of endowment is these are the insurance policies the premium will be less and they will be simple policies for around 30 years or 40 years you pay less premium and if some risk is there then people will get huge amount and in between there will not be any money back nowadays several policies are money back policies but endowment policy is it is type of simple policy where there are no features of money backs and another important aspect is in state governments there is endowment department that looks at religious institutions and the religious institutions are monitored regulated by endowment department ironically most important word you come across this word understand crystal clear meaning of this ironically that means it is strange it is really difficult to understand here you see government when it says prohibition is the goal around a year ago government said within next 2 years it will implement prohibition but the arak shops went up from 100 to 
during the past one year. That means it said one thing. That means when prohibition is the goal, arrest shops should come down. But in contrast, they increased. This is very very difficult to understand. It puts question marks on the motives of the government. The intention of the government is prohibition. Ironically, it is a funny. It is a strange. The arrest shops went up in recent times. Look at another example. As a scientist, he made several inventions, and he is world reputed scientist. Later on, he became CEO of that scientific institution. He failed as CEO. You can say ironically, as CEO failure is clearly evident. That means it is strange. The scientist is having world repute. But when he got appointed as CEO, he failed. You see, government is giving thrust to organic fertilizers through PM Pranam. Normally, you expect the subsidy on urea that has to be reduced. Government subsidy has to go away, or it has to be reduced in phases. But government said the subsidy will continue till twenty four twenty five. When you are giving huge subsidy of more than eighty percent, how do you expect transition to organic fertilizers? So ironically, you can use interesting, strange, apparently, allegedly. These two words quite often you find in the newspapers. Apparently has got two most important meanings. Apparently, it is going to rain today. That means it seems to happen. It may not rain ultimately, but most likely it is going to rain. So apparently, it seems to happen. Apparently, because there are so many clouds. Apparently, it is going to rain today. Another example: the computer trouble. There was some computer trouble. Was apparently caused by a programming error. Because of some programming error, it happened. You are not certain. It is not hundred percent clear. But you are believing it to be true. You are believing it. So here it may happen. Apparently, it may going to rain today. Here, apparently, the trouble, computer trouble, is caused by a programming error. That means it is not true. Hundred percent, it is not true. But your belief, based on your knowledge, so apparently is used under these two circumstances. And the most important one is this. when the real situation is different from what we thought here you see this boy and girl are sitting in a park everyone thought they are married couple but apparently not so what is the meaning of this that means everyone thought these two are the married couple but in reality they are not they are just friends maybe live in couple they are not married so you are thinking something else but reality is something else similarly she looks about 30 by seeing her face people feel that she is 30 years old but actually really she is 50 year old so when reality is something different you have to use apparently apparently can be used under three circumstances one is something may happen today evening apparently there may be thunder showers second is apparently this is caused because of so and so error that means you are thinking it to be true but it is not 100% certain and this is most important reality is something different right that means we thought they were married couple but apparently not reality is something different we thought she is 30 years apparently she is 50 year old reality she is 50 years so when reality is something different from what we are thinking about look at this word allegedly most important friends one important aspect is x was arrested in fact 
his wife got killed recently x he was arrested the suspicion is x killed his wife unless until it is proved you cannot say x killed his wife x was arrested for killing his wife you can never say unless it is proved in a court of law till such time you have to say x was arrested for allegedly killing his wife allegedly must be used when something illegal is said to have been done but not it proved he allegedly stealed 100 rupees when servant is working for 10 years and there was some suspicion about the stealing of 10000 rupees it was not proved he allegedly stealed similarly the pharmaceutical industry allegedly lobbied with the us congress to get the bill passed no one has seen but allegedly pharmaceutical sector convinced the members of parliament or you can say congress members in united states of america allegedly it is said to be true but has not been proved so these two are different just look at them clearly so friends this apparently you find quite often in the newspapers allegedly also allegedly is simple word but apparently it has got three four meanings just look at these examples once again prescribe proscribe prescribe very simple word doctors prescribe some medicines but aquilin with whose patent is expiring shortly there is a news report with regard to bedaquilin it is used to treat drug resistant tuberculosis it is prescribed medicines are prescribed similarly stringent punishments are prescribed for violations of gst law so therefore something as a rule something as per law 20% income tax is prescribed as per indian taxation system so prescribe is used under these two circumstances proscribe proscribe means by not allowing something through government order terrorist organizations can be proscribed under uapa that means they can be designated as not allowed under the law terrorists can be proscribed and here you see custodial torture is proscribed that means something is not allowed as per the government order government authority there you have to use proscribe friends before concluding this lecture last 5 minutes in fact please recollect whatever we have discussed in the previous lectures we discussed about sun rises in the east raju works as a farm laborer ramesh is uh, reading the newspaper moment reaction and virat kohli has scored a century natu natu has got academy award like that we discussed and now some continuous actions continuing even now also how to frame them please remember don't use had had for the previous ones in fact in the previous lecture also i told you the difference between has have and had had means that is normally used to talk about some past action which has no relevance with the present friends i have been teaching current affairs for the past 8 years that means since 2015 i have been teaching i have not stopped i am still teaching there only you have to use i have been teaching current affairs since 2015 and you see previous example in the previous class there we talked about she has lived in delhi 
for 10 years. I told you, please recollect that example. 2013 to 2023, she lived in Delhi. Later on, she shifted to Chandigarh. There we used, she has lived in Delhi for 10 years. She shifted now. But if she is still living in Delhi, you have to use, she has been living in Delhi since 2013. Similarly, I have been teaching current affairs for the past 8 years. Rakesh has been working with Infosys since 2020. Still he is working. Suppose if he left the job recently, joined some other company, you have to say Rakesh has worked with Infosys for 3 years. But Rakesh worked 10 years ago. He left the job and joined some other company 10 years ago. You have to say Rakesh had worked. Rakesh has worked means he worked with Infosys. Recently, he shifted to some other company. Has worked is to be used when some recent action has got some connection with the present. And has been working. Still he is working since 2020. It has been raining since 9 a.m. It has not stopped. If it stopped, you have to say it has rained. Right? Now, it has been raining since 9 a.m. The rain has not stopped. How long have you been working with Indian Railways? That means, you want to know you are working with Indian Railways for the past 10 years, 15 years. And when query is to be asked, because he is still working with Indian Railways, question is to be asked like this. People have been ringing me throughout the day. Somebody has got some award. And people have been ringing, right? And the prices have been going up steadily. That means they are going up steadily, slightly, 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 slightly. And steadily going up has not stopped. Prices have been going up steadily. He has been arguing with me for an hour. He has not stopped the argument. If he stopped the argument, you have to say, he has argued with me. And just look at this. You can easily understand the difference. What we learned till now. Virat Kohli, please. Very well. That is the general statement. Virat Kohli is playing well. He is playing Normally, you use this when you are watching a cricket match. He is playing for the past one hour. He is playing well. Right? At that moment, when somebody is asking, how is Virat Kohli playing? He is playing well. He has been playing well. You can also use it. And Virat Kohli has played very well. Suppose that morning, one cricket match took place and India won the match. Because of the batting by Virat Kohli, you can see that match completed. Virat Kohli has played very well. And Virat Kohli has been playing very well since morning to indicate his continuous action. Still he is playing. And forget about had. Had is to be used in some other context. And these are the general statements which you come across in various newspapers and in day-to-day -day life. I hope I have given you some inputs to understand various statements as we go forward because this series is 50 modules. As we go forward, I will try to bring small, small passages to make you understand what is the exact meaning of it. So by learning words, parallelly these statements will give you required edge to face any competitive examination at the same time to talk with various persons with confidence. This concludes fifth module and please do wait for sixth module. Have a nice day. Thank you.